heading out to Yokohama Bay, where they heard the surf was more exciting than Waikiki. About six o'clock in the morning when they came up over the mound and the beach to get their first look at the waves of Yokohama, which they hoped would prove to be a little more exciting than Waikiki. So Del Cannon went, he went to the bottom. Freddie took off in the second wave at Yokohama going right, which is a bad mistake because there's a big pile of rocks on the right hand side. Right about there, got him. Dig across the face of this one in close to the beach, sees the sand loom up and luckily he makes his pull out. Semi-slippery when wet, Henry Ford with a semi-slip and a semi-turn. Do that again for the folks, will you please, Henry? Atta boy. Yokohama Bay breaks very close to the beach, not more than 50 to 75 feet offshore. If you get trapped in the wave like this, you usually end up in the sand. Freddie here is going to give us an impromptu demonstration. He's going to show us just where the beach is. And there it is, huh, Freddie? Back outside, Dick and Kemp are scratching for a wave. Kemp takes it. Eyes shut, holding his breath. Dick going right, again a mistake. Gets bounced by about 10 tons of salt water, almost getting hit in the mouth with a surfboard. Good way to lose a few teeth, like about 32. Freddy across the face of this one. Watch Freddy when he pulls out. He goes 360 degrees, the opposite direction of his surfboard. Got a little thing going. Henry inside with the surfers calling all time tube. In this case, down the tube. Dell still looking for the bottom. Freddy picks up one of the larger waves today at Yokohama. Decides too late that he didn't really want it. Kemp on the wave of the day at Yokohama. Goes through his patented mysterious Houdini disappearing act. Buried alive. Of course, the trick was to come out alive. Dell and Henry get a little too close together and decide to part company. Bon voyage. On the beach, Dick taking time off from the jarring surf to soak up some of the warm Hawaiian sunshine. Well, he enjoys a cigarette. On the beach today are a couple of friends. Buster Crab, the nicotine fiend, and his wife, Belle. Crabs are put here by the Hawaiian Chamber of Commerce to keep the beaches clean. Well now, there's a crab who thinks for himself. Back outside, Kemp sneaking under this wave, finishes off with a tricky dismount. Get an idea in the next shot how close Yokohama Bay breaks to the beach and how fast the waves are. 
Most of these have been in slow motion. This one's not in slow motion. Dick makes the mistake of hanging onto his surfboard and gets sucked right over with it. It's a good way to lose the remaining two teeth. The sun began to go down on the surfers. They just had time enough for a few more waves before it got dark. Getting all the rides in now they can before the day ends. Fowler on the last wave of the day at Yokohama Bay. And off they go down the highway.